Hello, welcome back and if you're new here, my name is Becca and today I am doing the first date tag. So I hope you're all having a wonderful Tag Tuesday. This tag was originally created by Kate's Book Date and I'll put a link to her channel and the original video down below. Okay, so there are 10 questions and let's just get into them. Number one, awkward first date. A book where something felt off. It wasn't a bad book, but lacked that spark for you. For this, I've chosen The Sin Eater's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury. And this is about a girl who has been whisked away to a palace and she's been told that she's chosen by the gods to perform a task for the royal family and in turn she will be married to the prince and what she does is she touches people and kills them so she wears gloves at all times so she can't kill people and she's the sin eater's daughter and the sin eater is somebody who comes to it's sort of like a funeral they come to the funeral when somebody has died and they eat a lot of food <laughs> And each type of food represents a sin that the person who's died has committed and their soul can't be released until all of their sins have been eaten. The thing that I didn't like about this book is that it's just very plain and forgettable. There's nothing particularly exciting about it. The concept of the story is good, but the characters just have, they're a bit flat. The plot's a bit flat. This book in particular drags on quite a bit and I feel like a lot of it is unnecessary. The thing with these is that they do pick up in the last 50 or so pages, but they're just very, very forgettable. Number two, The Cheap First Date, a book that turned out to be less than you expected. For this, I've picked The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black, which I thought I was really gonna enjoy because at the time that I read this, I think I read it straight after A Court of Thorns and Roses or with not very much time in between. And that was the first book that I'd really read about Faye. So I was really excited to read a Holly Black book, especially one about Faye because she does have a few that aren't. But I just didn't like it. I don't really like her writing style. I think that it lacks description a little bit and that the world building isn't good, although I think it's better in that book than the book I read in January. And I think her plot resolutions are a little convenient. So it just wasn't what I expected it to be and what I was hoping for it to be. And as a result, I didn't really enjoy it. Number three, Well Prepared First Date, a book that was better than you expected. For this, I've picked the Half Bad Trilogy by Sally Green, although I didn't really enjoy the first book. This is about a young male witch and you have bad witches and good witches and he is half bad so his mother was a good witch his father was a bad witch and there's a witch government that hunts bad witches and they sort of persecute him and never treat him fairly even though by the law they should give him a fair chance as he's neither bad nor good he is half and they should sort of see which way he goes but instead they sort of persecute him and they keep him under very close scrutiny and essentially treat him like an animal. I didn't really like the first one because it takes a while to get into the style of these books. I believe Sally Green is a British author and that really comes across in the language so it's a little grittier and less poetic and magical and descriptive than normal fantasy books are. As the books in the series went on I found I had a deep emotional connection to the characters and the main character in these books he's a little shit he is not a likable person because of the way that he has been treated but his character development from the first book through to the end of the last book is amazing and the ending of this series is just heartbreaking so anybody who's tried the first book and couldn't get into it i would ask you to persevere because it's worth it for the ending because it's just so beautiful and so sad and really blew my mind Question four, hot but dumb. A pretty book, but that's not so pretty on the inside. Um, ironically enough, I chose Tiny Pretty Things for this. I'm not going to try and say the author's names because I will butcher them. But I think one is Donnie L. Clayton, but it's the other author's name that I'm not even gonna try to pronounce. So this is about a ballet school and it was a while since I read it and I really didn't like it, but I think it was about the end of year performance of Swan Lake and they were all competing for the lead, being really nasty to each other. They take advantage of things like each other's eating disorders because obviously they have to be naturally thin to be ballet dancers in a very competitive industry and I just thought it was very petty and boring. I didn't like any of the characters apart from one. But yeah, they were all just nasty to each other. 
and this this book did end on a cliffhanger because it is a duology um but i couldn't force myself to read the second book but the best part about it was the cliffhanger ending it essentially it was just it was a hot but dumb book like the cover is stunning but the characters are all shallow and i just didn't care like i don't care who gets to be the lead in swan lake like i don't give a shit like it's no i don't care number five blind date a book you picked up not knowing anything about and for this i've gone for the bone season by samantha shannon i bought this because i'd sort of seen it around probably on bookstagram i only read this last year i think but i didn't know anything about it i just thought it was a dystopian or a sci-fi or a fantasy or something all things i'm interested in so i gave it a try and this is actually about psychics and there are seven orders of psychic ranging in strength so the first order are things like tarot readers palm readers and things like that and the like seventh order are really powerful and can like enter other people's bodies this is set in a futuristic i'm gonna say version of london that feels very much like george orwell's 1984 where the psychics are illegal and they're constantly being watched and they are taken away and supposedly killed but that is not the case and main char character Paige Mahoney is one of the orders of psychics and she is caught one day when she's on I believe she does something on the train and then she is eventually caught when she's gone to stay at her dad's for a night the whole sort of plot thickens craziness ensues but I really really enjoyed this it does take a little while to get into because it is one of those where you are thrown into the world and you're expected to know some of the jargon I think there is a glossary yeah you have a glossary because this world has its own sort of language so you do have the glossary to refer to and the more you get into it the world building is done really well it's sort of giving to you a little bit at a time piece by piece and then once you know the world as it appears to Paige you sort of experience along with her how the world is not actually how she thought it was and I really enjoyed this book and I would recommend it for sci-fi and dystopian fans maybe not fans of like hardcore fantasy I don't know because I like all three genres and I see them as interlocking so if you like fantasy sci-fi or dystopian then i would recommend this especially if you're somebody who reads a lot of ya and you're looking to read more adult because i believe this is classed as ya in the us but in the uk it is adult but it's sort of accessible enough that if you like ya you could read it but it's a little bit harder to process and more intricate than typical YA fantasies. Number six is Speed Dating and that is a book that you read really fast. I'm not going to tell you what this is about because you all already know but it's Turtles All The Way Down by John Green and essentially I read this in two sittings across 10 hours so it was like two sittings that were multiple hours long. I absolutely devoured this in one day. This is the only time in a long time that I've actually managed to do that with a book and just sit down pretty much read it cover to cover all in one day number seven the rebound a book that you read too soon after a book hangover and that kind of ruined the book for you now i haven't had any memorable book hangovers my reading speed sort of fluctuates anyway sometimes i can read a book in a day sometimes i read a book in two weeks so it all depends necessarily like on the book that i'm reading how invested i am how much time i have that week so i've adapted this question a little bit to a book that i think i should like but i didn't and i kind of blame that maybe on circumstances at the time and that is the shades of magic series by v e schwab i thought that i would really love this book and i just wasn't blown away by it i think i gave all the books maybe three three or four stars um i haven't read the last one yet because i do want to reread them and hopefully enjoy them because i can't think of a reason i didn't like them I really don't know why I didn't so I am willing to give them another chance but I think maybe the circumstances at the time possibly because I read the ebooks maybe my locations or situations at the time of reading contributed to me not enjoying those books as much as I maybe should have. Question number eight overly enthusiastic date and this is a book that you felt was trying too hard For this i've picked the alice duology by christina henry i thought that this was all too convenient and too whimsical i think it was trying too hard to be like alice in wonderland when it could have been a twisted alternate reality using the same characters 
It seemed to me to follow the whimsical nature of Lewis Carroll's original work when I didn't want that. I wanted something deep and dark and grisly and it was all just a bit too whimsical and oh we're off to travel hundreds of miles oh we walked 10 miles and we've got held up oh look the thing that we're walking hundreds of miles for is magically here i just really wasn't impressed i think it would have been better if it had tried less hard to be like alice in wonderland and instead became something on its own inspired by the chain of events in alice in wonderland or just the characters number nine is the perfect first date and that's a book that did everything right for you a Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Mars. That's all I'm saying. You don't need me to talk about this anymore, but you all know that I love it. And it's perfect in every way to me. And question number 10 is Humiliating First Date. And it's a book that you're embarrassed to admit that you're like, or one that you're embarrassed to be seen reading in public for some reason. And for this, I've picked Alice in Zombieland by Gina Showalter. Don't let this fool you. It isn't an Alice in Wonderland retelling in any way. The main character is just called Alice but she goes by Ali, I think. This is such a guilty pleasure read for me. It's not even good, but I'm so, I was so invested in this series. I only read it a couple of years ago as well, so it's not like I read it when I was a teenager, but I think it's the love interest, Cole, and oh God, I just love him so much. When I was researching tags to do before I picked this one, I found a Valentine's Day tag and it was like the best book with pickup line and a line that Cole says to Ali just automatically came to mind. And it just like got me in the feels and it's not even that impressive. Um, I think she maybe insults him and he says, call me what you want as long as you always call me. And I was just like, oh my God, I just really like Cole. And these are surprisingly good books, but they are very tacky, a bit cringy, very classic paranormal romance, sort of urban fantasy type things with zombies and the zombies don't even really make any sense i don't they're more like ghosts if you don't mind reading a bad book <laughs> i'd recommend this one so that's everything for the first date book tag i'm actually going to tag some people this time so i tag brie from brie reads books maddie from the book pusher clara from clara reads books and willow from the reading corner thank you so much for watching that's everything for this tag tuesday video please don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to if you head into the down bar below you can find a link to my goodreads instagram and twitter if you want to be my friend on any of those but that's everything from me today bye